to me, the dead are just as much a part of a parish as the living. I think that was Emily Bronte's attitude to the dead, too. She had a great sense of eternal life and a familiarity with death. I didn't fully realize until I came to Howe's Parsonage that Emily Bronte, more than any other novelist of her time, fed her genius on the chilly surroundings of the house where she lived and died of consumption at the age of 30. Life, death, and eternity. These are Emily's great themes, and the scene is set brooding here on her doorstep. Rossetti said, the scene of Wuthering Heights is laid in hell. I see what he means. And in a real sense, all the harsh grandeur of the novel takes life from the eye of Emily's imagination. She often wrote of graves and tombstones, but always in a large, dramatic way. She had a genius for lifting common images from the world around her and giving them vitality and magnitude. She was a woman with a vision of a dark, essential world hidden within the world of appearances. Sometimes I like to go for walks in graveyards. When I go off to the country and stay with friends, I usually try to find the local churchyard and go for a walk there. Sometimes I even write in a churchyard. One has a sense of communion with the dead and people who've lived in the same environment as oneself only at a different time. This graveyard here at Hearth was one of the very first things that Emily Bronte ever saw. The, the view from her nursery window was of this graveyard, and afterwards that nursery was her bedroom. And she saw this churchyard and the tombs and the everlasting moors beyond it. No wonder she had a sense of eternity. In Wuthering Heights, her two characters, Cathy and Heathcliff, I have a love that endures beyond the grave. I don't think that Emily herself ever had a love affair or thought of marriage. The, none of the Bronte records suggest it, and there aren't any legends. But she was a passionate woman. All her passion and all the intensity of emotion that was in her nature went into her writings and all her imaginative work. And she was content just to be a spinster of this parish. <laughs>